What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm your girl Lorna Marie and today for you we are bringing you my tiny home RV bathroom organization. I'm super excited to show you guys this because living in a tiny RV you definitely have to learn some tips and tricks on how to maneuver your space and today for you I'm going to be showing you guys all of the containers and organizational pieces that we have in here to utilize all of the space that we have which is not very much. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, organization videos, and I would just love to have you guys. I'm a mom of four. We travel around full-time RVing, and I love organization, Amazon favorites, all that good stuff. Um, if you feel like depositing some positive energy, give it a thumbs up. I will be listing everything I can find for you guys down below. And without further ado, if you guys want to see my tiny home RV bathroom organization, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first space I'd like to show you guys is underneath my bathroom sink. Now, this is probably the smallest underneath area for a bathroom sink I've ever seen. It is very, very tiny. It's probably 10 inches tall, and I'm going to say less than two feet wide. It's probably, I'm going to say a foot and a half wide. It's crazy how little space that it is, but this is what we have to work with. And I feel like if you have the proper organizational pieces, it will really help you utilize your space. So first thing that I like to do is analyze what is this space going to be used for? Are we changing it? Are we keeping it the same? And then we start removing everything and giving it a good clean. Now, one thing that was super challenging in this sink, not only was it small, that was already challenging, were these pipes. Having these pipes here made it really challenging to find products that would fit underneath them or that ranged in size. So that is why I love these modular containers that I got from the container store. They work amazing and there's dividers within the container. So not only can you separate by category with each container that's stacked on top of each other, but you can also organize within the container. I love that and you can customize it, move them around. And you see me here just removing all of the stickers and everything so I can start putting in all the goodies. Now is the part where I kind of start positioning things and making sure I have enough space for all of the things that I'd like to put in here. That little caddy, I had shown you guys that before. I had that in my old bathroom. Luckily, it still fit. And this is one of my favorite parts is putting all of the pieces together inside of um, these organizational bins here that we got from the container store. Stuck in a head rush about it What's been a fast one moving slow I don't know how but we found it Something supernatural The space between us about the lighting here you guys the camera was playing me every time I moved and it just it was such a weird place for lighting so I actually ended up not using both of these little two-tiered trays you're gonna see me playing around with it and I think this is the most important thing is making sure it's usable like it's a place um, things are put in place where you can actually use them and access them because it's pointless to do a system and then it doesn't even work so I did end up getting rid of one of those little trays as you saw there as you guys know, I used to have a giant, beautiful beauty room and I had a vanity where I put all of my makeup. So now I have to figure out how I can have a vanity inside of my bathroom, my tiny, tiny little bathroom and still function and feel good about it and where it still kind of looks pretty. You know, I think that's so important to me is when I'm getting ready that I have good vibes going. And so what I found on Amazon were these containers. They are stuck with, I believe it's 3M sticky tape and I am going to be opening the door and using them like my vanity and putting my brushes in them. I have some other ones I'm going to be putting lipstick, but I basically am just measuring everything out and making sure it fits and can close and they work out so good. They're still stuck on here, you guys. Now the two little ones at, top, at the top, I ended up replacing these for another large one. Um, maybe I'll show you guys at the end of the video how that ended up turning out. I did end up moving my lipsticks and stuff here. 
You guys know what I always say, if it's not working, throw it out and switch your system. It's so important. And what I ended up doing is making sure that I had more space for brushes and utensils that I used and it worked out so good, you guys. Maybe I'll do a whole dedicated like makeup video and I'll show you guys me using my um, whole little vanity setup that I have here. But down at the bottom, I used to have my lipsticks and stuff like that. And at the top, I had brushes. Well, I moved the brushes down one more to where these liquid lipsticks are and it ended up working out beautifully. I moved things around so I wanted to give you guys a final look of everything. I love it. It's perfect. I just open the doors up and then I start doing my makeup. At the bottom here, I have some lipsticks. And then in this section, I ended up moving what was here and I put all of my eye um, pencils and mascaras and different things and in this one here I wanted to be able to reach all the brushes I did have brushes at the top but I put them all in here they all fit I did get rid of a bunch of them and um, this is pretty much all the ones that I use so it's perfect and then at the top here I have my epilator my derma roller and a couple other things so here is my medicine cabinet it is actually a decent size um, they're usually very narrow in size, but this one is pretty wide, so I was lucky in that department. But I felt like I was missing out on some of this vertical space, and I feel like vertical space is very underutilized. So we are going to add some more of those clear 3M containers on the doors. And in order to do that, we have to measure, make sure that they're the doors are gonna close with all of this stuff inside. So what I did is I put all of this main um, components inside. And so that way, when I close the door, you'll be able to see um, if it's gonna fit or not. So I did measure here <laughs> and made sure that it fit and it worked out perfectly. I actually love having these little containers here. So hopefully you guys can try this in your own bathroom. So now I'm just adding my toothbrushes and all that stuff and I'm just seeing where I can put them so I can add this second container on the door up top. So my husband's section is the top one here and mine is the bottom. So I wanted to show you guys what the bottom area looks like. I got this two tiered rack. It's actually for spices, but I ended up putting all my lipsticks and things. I have my Q-tips that I use for putting on makeup. I have a little perfume. My mirror I showed you guys in my Amazon favorites video. And I love this thing, you guys. It's a cute little thing that holds the Q-tips, but it's up out of the way and I just keep refilling it. And it's just so nice to have a container like this when you're in an RV and you don't have the counter space. So love that. And it definitely utilizes some of that vertical space we were talking about. I also have this little container that I keep all of my liquid lipstick, my lip liners, and then I put another one of those lipstick holders here and I have all of my beautiful YSL lipsticks. I like to put up words of affirmation around so I added those there. Um, and this little bin I just have a bunch of my stuff that I like to access really easily. Um, tweezers and lip balm and all that good stuff but I just love the way that it looks overall. I think it turned out really good. Next up I'm going to be showing you guys the cabinet area. This area has been, I mean I have organizational pieces in here but I kind of was just throwing stuff in here knowing that I needed to reorganize it and really find homes for things. These cabinets are deep, you guys, like super deep. So I feel like if you wanna utilize all of the space, you have to put things in the back and figure that all out. So I'm gonna pull this all out of the cabinet and start showing you guys what goes inside of the cabinets. I love these organizational pieces from Amazon. They do stack, they're clear, they're beautiful. Um, you can add all kinds of inserts and stuff in here. You can make them out of little boxes, whatever it is. I put a lipstick insert in here and it fit perfectly because I'm going to have this one on top so I don't need to stack anything. Now this one is my palettes and this one's going to go underneath and that way I can stack this one nice and easy. Or did this one go on top? I don't remember. We'll actually see right here. <laughs> but these are all of my palettes. Um, you guys saw I had a huge makeup collection before. These are some of the ones that I have left over. I do a lot of makeup. It is still a lot of makeup, but that's a part of my job. It's I test products and I really enjoy makeup. And I'm a cosmetologist if you didn't know that. But I'm just showing you guys how deep these cabinets really are. They are so deep. Like I can't even reach all the way back there. So because this cabinet is so deep, I want to utilize that space in the back. So I'm going to use these containers filled with all of this 
they're extra products basically things that I don't need to access every single day so I have extra beauty blenders mascara I have eyelash curler all kinds of things that I don't really use and then in this other one here I have my travel case for my toothbrush I have my bathroom bag I have a whole video on that I believe it's my excursion bag um, on my travel bathroom bag and some extra hair products so these will go in the back but they're still organized in a container that I'm gonna label so I know exactly what's inside of them. This is gonna be just extra um, cotton rounds and different things, but I just love how pretty it looks. I know what's in them. I actually end up labeling everything and it turned out so good. And now I know what's back there. If I wanna see what's back there, I just remove what's in the front. It's kind of what you have to do in an RV. Now, this is on the bottom shelf. This is gonna be like my extra toilet paper. Um, this is my new period caddy. I don't have the luxury of having the big one anymore that I had in my bathroom. It's a little too tall. Um, so that's okay. You just have to make sacrifices when you have this type of lifestyle, but there are benefits to it. So I'm good with it. So it just stacks up there along with all of the extra feminine products in boxes. And then this bad boy is a, it's like a shelf, but a drawer system and it's made out of plastic. And I believe they're around like $19, $20. It could be a little bit more um, from Amazon. So in the first section here, I have these headbands. And in the middle, I have these little jars of hair ties that I got off of Amazon, which has pearl embellishments, which are so cute. So I just keep them in there and it kind of makes this little perfect thing to wrap the headband, um, headbands around. So I really like the way it turns out. And I ended up buying more headbands since then. So this is kind of like overflowing. I'm gonna have to get rid of some. So it just kind of slides in here and it looks so cute and perfect. Um, I ended up switching it around because I liked one of the pearls to show on the pink side. So do whatever makes you happy and looks beautiful because that's what's gonna give you a better vibe to get your butt out of bed and get ready when you don't feel like it. So then next up, I have another bin that goes on the top here. And I just keep my hair ties. I love these ones that have the little long ribbon that hangs from the sides. It's so cute. And then I have my hairbrush. I have way more hairbrushes than this. Um, that's the first one that made it to the basket. And I've shown you guys this on an Amazon favorites video. But I have all of my little clips, my pearl clips, all of that. And that just goes on the top there so I can easily access my hairbrushes. I don't need the headbands as often as I would need a hairbrush. So that's why I like putting those on the bottom. But I just love the way it fits in there. It's perfect. So next up we have the middle shelf. Now the middle shelf is going to have my hair extensions and my extra hair care products. That goes all the way in the back. And in front of that, I have my everyday hair products and then I have my hair straightener and my blow dryer and I labeled everything. And then as you see those other bins that I showed you guys are right up there. And I just push them back far enough to make sure that these little containers that I have on the cabinet clear. Now the next and final section of this area is this top cabinet here. This is the tallest cabinet, so I'm gonna utilize this for like things that may not fit down below and things I don't need to access as often. Extra toothpaste, floss, we have our eye solution, extra razors, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna be just sticking those in containers in the back here. I ended up standing on the toilet so you guys could see a little bit better because I'm short. Um, so I keep all my extra Q-tips, medication, lotion, and then this is my shout wipes and my eyeglass cleaner. So everything just stacks nice and neatly here. This is not my favorite section. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it serves its purpose and I can get to things as I need to. Um, I also have all of my like loofahs and wash brushes and things like that for the shower, all the extra ones. And then I have my Q-tips and my Ricola cough drops. And that's pretty much it. That's all that goes back here. But yeah, everything is accessible and ready to go. Then I stick my facial steamer on the side here and I have another one of these little drawer shelf things. So on the bottom one, I put my makeup. Now when I do my makeup, I pull this out and I set it on the toilet behind me. I know that sounds weird, but it's what I have to do. <laughs> um, I obviously put the lid down. So that is my makeup. So when I'm doing my makeup, I pull both the doors open, pull this out, set this down, 
pull out my everyday little makeup container on the side and I do my makeup. Now this is an upcoming video. I will not get too deep into this, but this is all of like my self care stuff. I cannot wait to show you guys this and my system and the things that I like to do, but everything in here is for self care and that will go at the very top to utilize that vertical space and it fits perfectly. So I absolutely love the way it turned out. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing it. You know organization is one of my favorite videos to do here for you guys. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell. Like I said, everything will be listed down below. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate you. Leave me a bathtub emoji and let me know that you did. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lerner Marie. Bye. I was waking up, looking for peace in a world that's divided Gotta hold on tight when you find it I